I mean, it's yeah, but it ain't. We ain't got to use it. Oh, I don't know if we was going yet. I was gonna act right. Yeah, I I, it's been going, but it, we ain't got to use none of it. I got some today. You got yours with you? Hey, <laughs> I appreciate you for having them glasses. <laughs> you been trying to? Let me hide my eyes too. You're all hiding eyes. Why don't you show them? What Oh, don't let the crazy out. <laughs> what, what'd you do with yours? I don't know, man. They, I have disappearing sunglasses, bro. One time you had broke them, but then you said you fixed them. Wow. I don't even know how well, that One time I slid them to you across the stage, in all yep. confidence, you would capture them and keep them close capture. to your bosom, <laughs> and you let them go, and they're <laughs> gone forever. Close to your bosom. <laughs> let me down. Yeah, I dude. thought you said penis. <laughs> and I put them down there, and they must have fell out at the bottom of my pants. If I find them, I'll give them back to you. <laughs> if, I, if I find them. Ah, you're fired. This sounded like payback for all the shirts you've kind of ganked from him, dude. He did that on purpose. Did he? Bringing them shirts, yeah. That's a good oh. song, dude. Go poke a cone. Poke a cone, dude. I said I would write one. You just wrote it already. It's already done, probably. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> you do write a lot of shit, too, man. I know, man. What's your writing process like? Man, I just went and started buying some composition books because you've got me kind of wanting to go back to actual writing in books. I ain't wrote in books in years. I've written on my phone. Yeah. And while it's a lot more convenient, I don't like it near as much. Writing in books? I don't like writing my phone near as much. Yeah, well, you it's eliminate connected. Uh, you know, yeah. you can write a word out and then scratch it out and go right to something else. Yeah. On the phone, you're backtracked, you know what I mean? And it mm. auto-corrects you like there's different yeah. uh, things that come into Notifications play. Notifications pop up while you're writing. Yeah. But I'm going to try writing, just writing a few songs back in the notebook and see how, see how it, it hits compared to what it used to. Because I've, for the longest time, I've just been writing in my phone and it's, it's easier, but you're not near as connected. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that's how I do it. And I always have to write to a beat. I yeah. can't. I can't just write without beats. You can write without beats, though. And well, you, I mean, right? but you, if you just started off as a story, like fuck, man. You know, like you woke up, come here, like damn, man. Look at the sun coming through mm -hmm. this window. Yeah. You know, Lord, thank you for the day. Mm -hmm. You know, and like God, what I. Man, I, I want to give it to you, you know, and just begin yeah. to talk in like in prayer and to yourself and then just go off of that. And it might begin as just like a short story, but turn into a little rap. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, man? Yep. So that's how I used to like when I would journal and stuff, you know, that's how I would look into or begin. I would just you just have to start writing. You, there's no magical word yeah, to yeah. get you going. Yeah. You know, man, just begin, let it let it flow. Is it easier you doing it that way than if you hear a beat and then try to write with the, like you try to write something fresh to a beat? Is it? No, it's a, a totally it's different, different animal. You know, I mean, yeah. both of them is equally like, uh, like challenging. But yeah, yeah. once you know the formula, mm -hmm. it's it's like uh, it's just doing your job. Yeah. You know, with it. So, yeah. and the more that you stay. And and you've said this in past interviews, which I've taken as as good advice. Like you gotta, you start to feel like having writer's block and stuff. You see, you gotta go live life a little bit. You gotta go, because if you're just sitting, not doing the same thing every day, and not going and trying to see new things or experience new things, you're not gonna have nothing new to write about because you ain't done nothing new. You know? Yeah, yeah. I think what you take in is what's going to come out so if you man enjoying life and laughing out loud and having belly laughs and cooking mm -hmm. with your people and y'all yeah. having a good time man you gonna write some fun good music yeah you know like for me as like a writer like what you, it reflects what you going through in them moments you know what i mean yeah. is how you write now putting the music out is it put out in that lineup no you mm -hmm. know, it's it's put out in different times than it was mm -hmm. written. You know, man, that's why I always say, look, each song's a book in itself. Yep. Read that book move and then we'll close it and move up. on. Because the they're not being that. put yeah. out as they was, you know, composed yeah. or whatever, man. So 
It's uh, it's interesting, man, to see how that all that unfolds. But yeah, yeah, that's dope, though. Like, and I think too, you having all this time and and lived a very like you've lived a life, bro. Just from what you you said, and you can just tell that you've you've had a lot of goods and bads, and you've seen a lot of cool stuff, and probably seen a lot of bad stuff, and a lot of life experience that's been able to. Um, I don't want to say feed the, well, yeah, feed the creativity process because you, you have st- a lot of things you can pull from, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And with you being able, to, and it's probably stuff that, is some of the stuff that you've done, is it old? Like in the sense of one of the songs that you've released, is it stuff that's not even within the last year or two that you wrote it or is it some stuff that's? Um, I've been writing a lot of, of stuff that's been released as new shit. Okay. Like all the older stuff ain't even. You ain't even went to like I always it. put, you know, man, yeah. like yeah. it's, and it's still just sitting there, just, uh, and that's some beautiful words and it, man, it's, mm-hmm. you know, because like I said before, man, I, I'm a writer. I'm not a rapper. You know what I mean? I, I'll get up there and do my best at this, <laughs> but mm-hmm. we'll see how it pans out. Like, um, cause I enjoy writing the music and telling the stories or yeah. putting the stories down. You know, mm-hmm. um, but the performing them and going and dancing for the people, like, I don't know how that's going to pan. Like, you know what I mean? In my mm-hmm. mind, I'm thinking, yeah, but is that the life that you want to live, traveling all over the place? Or would you rather be at home on the farm, man, well, that, handling business? You what what I mean? is, what's the answer to that? Well, how would you feel about that? I don't know, bro. I guess we're going to find out yeah. <laughs> real do you, quick. Do you like so far from what you've seen of the, the few shows that you've done, but you've got several that are in the works to be getting booked and it's going to be, looks like it's going to be something that's going to be pretty regular. Do you, how do you feel like you, like the ones you've been on? I mean, I know you've enjoyed them, but could you see yourself doing that three to four times a week? Yeah, in different with, cities, in and out of city, you know what I'm saying? If it with gets the right tools, man, yeah. you know, you got to yeah. have the tools for the, for the job, man, so. And we're working on that, mm-hmm. and uh, we're gonna give it a run and see what what's happening with it. Yeah, and I'm excited about that, bro. You know, like it's not a opportunity, a hop- opportunity that I feel like that everybody really stumbles across. No, like man. I have, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I'm gonna make the best out of it, and I want to do the best job I can at uh, what I'm doing. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna handle business. No, for sure, hundred percent. Um, yeah. And as far as the touring and stuff, man, you know, all that, the more you do it. Because I was talking to some of these guys, man, they like 20 years of bands yeah, in this thing. Yeah, <laughs> like, man. You know, because yeah, I was like, man, they got a full band, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. But uh, I think we're going to run a DJ, you know, uh, for a while and then. Graduate into a band, maybe? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, just like, get some shit up under our belts, you know, yeah. and, and make sure, hey, you know, this right. life you want, right. for real, because yeah. I ain't got no problem ducking back off in the woods where I came from. <laughs> right. no. Yeah. I was going to say, man, because with you, you being in that scenario for however many years and then going from that to no problems and then it just, now you're just like, and you're still ducked off because you don't really do this, your own social media, you know, but you're still in tune with it enough. Like... I know that had to be, was that, did that take some getting used to? I know you're probably still getting used to it. Did that take some getting used to? Like what, the social media? Just, just going from, yeah, just going from not doing Man. any of that stuff and then doing them one or two songs and then it just taking off like it did. Bro, you know how, I, like, okay, it's kind of like how I deal with my dead homies. I feel like they just out of town mm-hmm. and I'll see them again yep. when I see them. And so, like when I when I flip on my phone, and I, I'm going through the feed, and I see me, I don't even look at it as me. I'm like, look at this joker. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't watch that shit. You know, <laughs> I don't even watch yeah. it. You know what I'm saying, yeah. dude? And yeah. it's funny to me, but that's what I do for real. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, to have so many, I'm like, to have so much shit on there. And then films and everything, mm-hmm. like the people see of me, but it's like they don't even know the half. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. um, 
Because in this rap shit, man, I mean, you make these songs and make these pretty songs, you know, and all this. And you want to make these songs that people going to listen to and enjoy and they relatable. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, like, uh, man, it's a uh, man goes through a lot throughout a lifetime. So, mm -hmm. and especially a writer, like being a writer and be able to capture life on paper and then to have the opportunity to be able to put it, present mm -hmm. it to the world. Yeah. And in this day and age, man, through music, you know, in a rap, man, who don't love hip hop music? Oh, yeah, for you sure. You know, bro. Yeah. Everybody. Yep. You know, bro. So it's an honor, dude, to be where I'm at and to be able to do this shit, bro. Yeah. And, man, you're you're doing, considering what, what she was, I know you've been writing for all these years, but, man, being able to put out the stuff at the quality that you've been able to put out at the rate and the consistency and then it's, 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 it's spreading like wildfire because now you've got so many artists that are collaborating with you, which when we first started, that's what she was excited about, you know, wanting to do. Yeah, I still am, dude. I, like, yeah. I love, you know, artists sending me stuff like, yeah. hey, what you, you know, jump on this. I'm like, okay, yeah. check it out, you know, because yeah. it's cool, man. Uh, I mean, we're a creative race of created beings, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. So, um, in all fairness, man, let everybody have their chance at their creativity being yeah. known. You know, man, like, we all have a voice. Mm -hmm. If you have something to say, speak your piece. Yeah. You know, um, and I always give that attention. And that's, yeah. cool. that's cool, too, because um, artists that are that are watching this that are fans of you or, or look up to you or inspired by you that gives them inspiration even more i'm sure because they're like well maybe i can work with work with jamway one day you know and it's it's cool to be to look at it like that hey it's cool to look at it like that man because some people feel like it's so far away you know like man, like man. what the, where they're wanting to get and who they're wanting to work with and no, I mean, Nothing's out of reach, and with God, all things is possible, right? No, for sure. Uh, so I just be like, hey, whatever you're doing in life, where you're at, mm -hmm. uh, enjoy that, and enjoy the people that surround you, yeah. and that cute little curly head, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I know it, <laughs> and uh, well, they're man, fighting. We can you know, if you got no, nah, if you, you got, got if you got something that's uh, causing you to feel anything but wonderful, mm -hmm. man, look, step away from it. Yeah, you know, or, or step up to it, mm -hmm. and and you know what I mean, like yeah. confront it, like, hey, what's going on? Because I don't, like, this don't kill my vibe. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, and you are, so we need to figure this out. Yeah. I and mean, most of the time you can talk that shit out, so. Yeah. But, do you, go ahead. Do you ever see yourself, would you, could you ever see yourself potentially signing like to a major label situation? Or do you like doing things the way y'all are doing them? Man, if, uh, if there was an opportunity presented where it was enough to, that I felt sufficient to take care of my family, mm -hmm. Um, uh, and my kids' kids, yeah, and let them give them something to build off of, you know. Yeah. Then it's a possibility, but we got. I got such a. There's a. There's so much, man, that it would be a a hefty price, right? That I would have that to give it away. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'd really just be doing. I can live paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. You know, man, like I've got, I was so little my whole life that <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm just happy yeah. to be here. Yeah. You know, so I'm not going to sell out for something that's not well, 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 well. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. And I think that's, that's commendable for sure because a lot of people, it just shows that you're, um, you're truly inspired by the, the music side of it and truly invested in the creative spot side of it. And, which is, is good because a lot of times you, artists lose focus of that because they're so focused on getting some money. Getting some money, yeah, instead of maybe. I mean, that's part of it, but like 
you also want to leave an imprint and you know put a good message out there for people too i feel like well see my thing about money is i've always been good with it when i had it and when i hadn't mm -hmm. but i but the people around me i can see their struggles like my loved ones and stuff yeah. i see their struggles and then it's like damn I wish I had some money to give them so they wouldn't worry about it. Yep. You know, man? That's like, yeah, so that's, that's my it. thing. But yeah. it's like, why I hustle? Because I want to be able to bless my mom and dad. I want to be able to bless, you know, my kids and mm -hmm. uh, their kids, you know, like yeah. my people, my brothers, whoever, mm -hmm. you know, that I feel like in my heart, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Dude, so that's what's driving my hustle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, like, money's a tool, just like a pistol's a tool. Mm -hmm. you, Yep. You need it, it's there, you mm -hmm. know, man. So, and we all need it, man, in this day and age. Like, we all need a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> so, make sure you keep a wad <laughs> and one of them on you. Hell yeah. It's empty. It's empty, bro. I think it is, though. I don't think he's fiddling with you. Give it a test. Hey. Huh? Now, don't lose my shades, man. I lose all of them, and you, I don't need you losing them for me. I will promise you, I'll lose them in a day or two. You know Just give I'm them back. Them? Let me do it myself. You know where I'm gonna put them? By my titties. Why you keep saying that stupid shit? <laughs> <laughs> you said them in the titties. Who said that? Mm. Why are you making them kind of gestures? Huh? This is not okay. I'm, 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 out of, I'm looking for a new coon dog. <laughs> if anybody knows good hunting dogs, you let me know. Okay, I think I'm about to put this one down. <laughs> hey, my, he's gone a little rabid. <laughs> he's gone a little rabid. He has. <laughs> Dude, what are your some what are some of your favorite rap albums? Some of my favorite rap albums. Mm -hmm. Like what? Like you said, I know DMX and Pac are some of your favorite artists that got you, got you going. You were saying like motivated you, but did you have specific go to? I know the Rob Zombie album is what got you into writing. Mm. Yeah, right. Or was it was it White Zombie? It was the White Zombie album. Yeah, not well. See, here's my thing with the mute. Like, okay. A lot of people went, maybe rock, you know, but like I was like amazed by all of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like all of it, dude. Yeah. And so it it never was like I was stuck on one thing. Now when Eminem shit come mm -hmm. out, bro, that changed the world. No, you know what I mean? Yeah, Especially. For sure. For a white boy in the rap shit, yeah, dude. even though Beastie Boy, you know what I mean? No, like, I don't sure. even understand what the fuck. It's like, man, it ain't, it ain't a race thing, man. It's like, talk your, tell your truth, yep. speak your truth. You know what I mean? Like, yep. fuck. But uh, when Eminem got on that fucking talking his shit, I was that shit, man. That shit was different, dude, for sure. It was. It, it felt was. good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like so. it was like. It was like a five-year period for me, and it was 98 when I got introduced to Eminem when he did My Name Is. And then 2001, Bubba Sparks, Ugly. And then 2003, Lil White, Doubt Me Now. See, I can't even remember shit like that, bro. Yeah, and man. I feel bad because I, I can't remember, like, even artists now that I've worked with and stuff, it's like, I can't be like, man, I've listened to all your shit and everything. No, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. I don't, I really don't listen to nobody's shit. I be writing my own shit. No, you know sure. what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, yeah. So, um... I don't stay up on what people's putting out because I'm staying mm -hmm. up on me and what I'm putting out. Yeah. You know what I mean? This, for me, I remember those so well is because that was before I started rapping. That's what made me want to start writing. And well, rapping. yeah, like you know? Ludacris, you know, yeah, man, like sure. all them. Ludacris was definitely oh. one of them. Damn, Just the punchline, like all that shit. Like I was, I got on, I found out about rap. I mean, I knew about rap, but like Bone Thugs is what got me wanting to be, wanting to listen to rap music when I was like 13. It's like, then after that is when I started finding all of it. Tupac, Biggie. You know. I think I think Tupac, man, is what that gun pulled me in it. Cause I remember mm -hmm. I had a little uh, fedora, man. I had a damn uh, a little I, one of them ropes, man. You yeah. Know, 
I, man, as a kid, like, I was running around, like, that shit just hit that it, yeah. it set me free from, because I played ball a bunch, and I was always at the ball field, and I was just like, my shit was fucking act crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, it and growing was. up and in, in how it, it's like, man, you know, people talking about what you like. I was a collect. I, I listened to a collective, mm -hmm. uh, I guess, broad spectrum Eclectic. of there music. You, go. There you, you go. know, yeah. man. Yep. Like, and I pulled from all of it mm -hmm. because I've done the psychedelics. You know, man. I've yep. done. I, you know what I mean? Like, remember, I had in my room, man. I had all the, the glow in the dark neon sign. Oh, yeah. You know, where you yeah. could put the black lights black up. Light, yeah. And we'd go up there and be eating some acid, man, like, mm -hmm. uh, and mushrooms, dude. Uh, back then, I liked that. The mushrooms made me feel more milky, like I was in some <laughs> muddy water. You know, man, but yeah. the acid, I mean, I remember we sat up there tripping for weeks, bro, you know, and all them neon. It's like, it was just wild. Did you ever have any bad, yeah. weird trip? I've never done those, but I've heard people that, that love them, but then I've heard people say that, Every now and again, they'll have like a, a weird trip on them or something on acid, especially. Um, was all your trips remember. pretty cool? Like as far as not nothing that was no, like. I had one trip on acid where I took way too much accidentally. I um, it was at a widespread panic concert. Uh huh. And uh, it was back. I mean, I don't know if they still do it, but they was you know had a get you a squirt of it. Yeah. And I took one, it takes a little while to kick in, you know? Mm -hmm. I was a kid, so I was thinking, man, that, that shit, did, I didn't get enough, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause it ain't kicked in by now. Yeah. So I went and got me another little, um, shit, yep. you know, man. And, uh, you know, I was waiting for, <laughs> waiting for everything to pop off, you know? And by the time we was going to the show, and I was like, man, just to make sure, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get me one more, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got another little squirt, bro. Gone. Man, I ain't even gonna lie, man. When I tell you that I come up out of my head, I was on top of that concert, like watching it like this. Yep. That's what I was doing. And I came back down. And it's like, I was watching these people in front of me. And I, my body would start trying to move like how they was dancing. And then I, my eyes would go over here. And these people would be dancing different. But I'd try to mimic what they was doing, man. And you like, were just I had gone. A, yeah. Bro, it was crazy, dude. And I got home and I told my mom I done took a bunch of acid. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, dude. I had never done that, man. But I've had buddies that that have said. Squints told me some story about they were doing it one night. I think it was acid, and one of them, he was riding with somebody, and they was at a red light, driving, and then dude fell asleep at the red light, and then woke up, and like immediately started like projectile vomiting, like right after he woke up. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't do it. He, and Squints was tripping. I think it. I think yeah. I think it was. Ooh, it was, that was it probably was That's not or true. maybe it was one of the two. But I remember Mushrooms him telling me like story. You, it would give you like more of the, you know, because you feel more like. To me, it's more of a slimy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. kind of shit, man. Like you're a salamander or something. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. You know, like, but I did, man. When I was uh, living in uh, Vail, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I was working in uh, Twin Lakes, mm -hmm. doing this, rocking this chimney up there. And it was a long ride, probably like an hour, 15 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. You know, but the roads are icy, like it's a different ride than yeah. around here. And uh, on the way back from Twin Lakes one day, there was this old hippie looking fella, you know, need mm -hmm. a ride, and I give him a ride. And uh, he said, man, I ain't got no, I said, I don't need your money. He said, well, I got these chocolates. I said, well, I like chocolate, you know? He mm -hmm. said, well, I think you like these. I said, why? Well, <laughs> he said, don't take the whole thing. Yeah. I said, okay. And, uh, man, uh, I didn't take his advice. No, you didn't? No. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> just so happens, yeah. the day that I didn't take the whole thing, like I wasn't supposed to, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, uh, me and my buddy, we was rock climbing a bunch back then, man. We was doing multi-pitch stuff. Mm -hmm. Bro, I got stuck on a down. I got stuck, like, and it was pretty flat. But we was high up, but I had plenty of room. 
But I felt like I was fucking melting off this yeah. rock, dude. And I, like, it was everything I could do to try to hang on to it and sunk, sink into it. Yeah. Then I finally sunk into it, and then I was like Super Mario running around. <laughs> I, like, I, I hung on to that rock for dear life. And this is flat rock, yeah. <laughs> pretty flat, you know. Yeah. Um, I want to say for about a good three hours. Oh, wow. So it was, yeah, yeah, man. It was, like, yeah. I was. I was gone in the yeah. wrong place to be gone at. You know, <laughs> right. I was gone. They wouldn't know where I could go. <laughs> you know, bro. Like, just calm yourself. Yeah. And it was everything I could do to do that. Yeah, dude. So. That's great, dude. So you're just going to continue to keep doing what you've been doing. I know y'all are still working on putting out stuff every week, two weeks. Um, you got a lot of shows um, in the works. You know, and I know you're working toward, I think they're, we spoke the last interview and me and Banks said something about it the other day about y'all are a couple of songs away from Bama Beast 2 album, you know, throwing it out since you've got a, enough songs almost. I think we were at 10 or 11 last time and now you're at 14 or 15, so. How many are we trying to put out on a CD? I think we, I think 16 is what he was saying, like the last one, like with volume one. But like, I know you've got a lot of collabs in the works, you got a lot of stuff on the, on the, on the way um, and we're fixing to chill and hang out and eat some good food. Mel's cooking and enjoy the rest of the day, man. But glad we got to pull up and chop it up with you again, dog. Man, it's always a pleasure when y'all pull up, man. I really appreciate what y'all do. Yeah, and, man. Uh, you know, the songs we put together, some fire and the shit. We got oh, dude. Cooking. No. Yeah, we got another one. We got another two. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, that shit, table, man. Yeah. Like, it's a joy to be able to work around. For one, to be able to do something you love and mm -hmm. to be able to work around people you love. For sure. You yeah. know, man, and to yeah. build a family and to build something, man, like it's yeah, it's a, definitely a wonder of the world. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You know, yeah. in this life. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, good yeah. times, man. For sure. Chat on TV. Get some. Wow.